What science says about your supplements? About one-third of Americans take multivitamins regularly. Many think it can decrease cancer. They believe it reduces cardiovascular disease. However, multivitamins don't confer any longevity benefit. Psyllium husk may lower your cholesterol. It can dampen glucose spikes and help you stay full longer. It can even aid in treating constipation and diarrhea. Psyllium comes from the Plantago ovata plant. It is rich in arabinoxylin. This molecule forms a gel when it contacts water. This allows psyllium to promote special reactions. They help convert cholesterol into bile acids. In the colon, psyllium becomes a prebiotic. It spurs the production of beneficial metabolites. Collagen supplements have become increasingly popular. Collagen is found in cartilage, bone, tendons, and skin. It helps preserve the skin's integrity. With age, your body produces less collagen. This contributes to skin appearing less elastic. Bands claim collagen supplements boost skin health, but there isn't strong evidence behind these claims. Ashwagandha has become popular among celebrities. They claim it improves sleep, anxiety, and memory. Ashwagandha has sedating qualities, so it may adequately induce sleep. However, it shouldn't be viewed as a long-term solution. Magnesium is often taken for sleep and mood symptoms. There are a few circumstances when it's warranted. One of them is constipation. Too much magnesium can be toxic to your body. People with an iron deficiency often feel exhausted. If you have iron deficiency, you should take supplements. Taking an iron supplement can optimize iron absorption. It may mitigate side effects such as nausea, but you shouldn't take it every day. Greens powders are hugely popular on social media. They are made with greens such as kale and algae. Many of these formulas are proprietary. You don't fully know what's in them. Greens powders are heavily processed. They're freeze-dried and powdered. They are often mixed with additives and sweeteners. Some people think that vitamin B12 can help with fatigue. They take it to boost energy levels. But there's no proof that vitamin B12 helps with fatigue. You shouldn't take it unless you have a deficiency. Probiotics are a multi-billion dollar for-profit industry. Proponents claim probiotics can boost your microbiome. It's said to help with digestive issues, it can boost immune function and even mental health. However, the marketing claims do not match the evidence. Probiotics aren't recommended for digestive conditions.